Right. We know that you are responsible for renovating and like redesigning the media center. What is your like look? What do you want it to be like? Uh, well, there's a lot of things we we can do, but um, first of all, there's the idea of what we want to do, and it's not just what I want to do, it's what the school wants to do. It's a, it's a team process. We have a committee, you're on the committee, you know that. Uh, we formed a committee, uh, we send out survey information beginning the school year to collect data from all our stakeholders and try to figure out what uh, the vision for the Media Center wants to be going forward in our future. Um, and based on that information, we kind of met and talked about some ideas and so forth. Um, one of the things we want to try to do is uh, try to combine two things. One is to preserve what we do well. And being in Ex Libris or in Book Club, we know that reading is a big deal here. So we want to definitely preserve our reading culture in the school. And that was a big deal. So when we redesign stuff, we don't redesign it so that we would put a barrier to reading in print, because print's a big deal here. Um, so um, we decided as a committee to realize that we want to preserve our reading culture but at the same time, we also want to expand our new technologies that we're getting. Eventually, our school's going to go to one-to-one -one eventually in the near future. We want to add some technology things like AR, augmented reality, virtual reality, coding, things like that. And just give opportunities for kids to experiment and play with technology in a fun way. And Ms. Haney started this last year with our makerspace right over there. And what we want to do is expand that. The question going forward with three model is where can we build capacity to do this? Okay. And what we decided to try to do in our plan is to remodel a lot of this space right here and continue to build into a makerspace area, um, change some furniture things over here in the main library without really reducing our shelf capacity. Um, and then maybe if, if the budget permits, maybe do some more, more uh, extensive things like changing walls and all that. Um, but that's yet to be decided because there's a, there's a whole many layers of the process. But where we are right now is kind of in the pre-planning process where we've talked to different people, we've formed our committee, we've talked to our stakeholders, and now we've got our information, we've got our plan together, it's just now getting approval of that plan and going forward. How do you plan to balance between, obviously the people at this school really enjoy books, and then like this new technology wave that's been seen the last couple of years? Well, I think um, the balance is gonna be uh, driven based on need. We're going to have opportunities for students to learn media skills, um, and, and that's kind of an important thing to uh, One of the things that I think is very important is that we expand um, our definition of what a media literate person is, what we call media literacy, um, and some people define that as only the traditional print research, but there's that technology piece as well, and, and that, that needs to be addressed in a fun way. And one of the things that our new technology will allow us to do is give you guys, maybe not you because you're a senior, but you, you know, the freshmen and the, those who come behind them, is opportunities to do project-based learning things, I think, to apply these new technologies in a way. But guess what? We're still gonna have books too. They're not gonna go away. Um, what we're gonna see probably happen is some of the more lesser used materials, like our reference materials, for example, they'll probably become more digitized. So, but, but our fiction in particular will probably stay in print because, like I said, we have a strong reading culture here. And that's what the students want. And the students get what they want. I mean, that, that, that's the whole point is making a place for them, like giving them buy and giving them a say in what they want. Now, you know, 10 years down the road, if our, that, that need changes, then probably we could go more digital. You know? But I think it depends on how things change when no one stays in. But currently, the five-year plan is pretty much to expand what we have already, or preserve what we have already in terms of print, and expanding other areas. What is the most like important thing? I mean, obviously the technology is important. Obviously, the reading, keeping the reading section is important. But like overall, what do you think people will get out of this most, redesign? Most, uh, most importantly, of the redesign part. Yes. The technology piece is definitely one of the more important things. I think the most important thing out of all this redesign is to preserve and maintain um, the kids' interest in the media center. You know, the most important thing is to um, maintain uh, that kids feel comfortable, that, that they in expand the And kids already feel comfortable and use this space a lot than most places do. And that's what's great about the school, is there's a reading culture, is to continue to maintain that reading culture. That to me is the most important thing to do. And as long as we do that and improve upon that, 
no matter what the place looks like, it's a success. Uh, and that's the whole thing is we want to entice more people to come in, not less, to engage in reading, be more comfortable, find more comfortable spaces. And when we do fundraisers like Readathon, oh, it would be nice if we have some cool furniture hanging we could read and do that kind of stuff and, and spread out. And, and it would be nice if we could do uh, have a, a Readathon type of environment on a regular basis. Wouldn't it be nice if you come to lunch and sprawl on the couch somewhere and read a book? You know, I get your Kindle out. Wow, he has a nice little place here. So we want to create those comfortable spaces. Now, can we do that everywhere? Of course not. You know, it has to be managed. But to create some of those new creative spaces for some kids to relax and have fun and unwind, I think is, is something that the really focus of the new redesign is going to be. But it really boils down to how much gets approved, how much money we're going to have at the end of the year and all that. And really, we don't know all that yet. We're still in that pre-planning phase, like I said earlier. Um, but I guess the most important thing is to preserve our redesign.